In studio right now is I'm just mad about remember that they call him Melo Testa. Good morning, Melo Testa. Good morning. I'm a big Donovan fan. You had to be growing up, were you? A, a Did big, you ever make the connection to Oh that song, Mellow was, uh, Yellow and Melo Testa? Yeah, that's something I've been carrying with me for many years. For fifty years, yeah. 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 Uh, all right, uh, Mello, this is a big event, and you've been caught in the middle of a, a lot of yeah. muck today. Um, okay. I, I try uh, this to avoid those things. EJ but, Herman event. Uh, my son ran cross country. It's an awesome event. It's the one I think kids look forward to every year. The weather, by the way, is going to be perfect for great, it. This another year. great day. Cooler, a uh, little cooler. You're not going to have that humidity that right. uh, you know nobody yeah, wants. Yeah, because we are very, very uh, careful about our, our runners. We have the medical tent set up. And, yeah. Uh, very seldom have to use it through heat exhaustion, but uh, this, we're ready. We're ready for any kind of weather. All right. But by the way, this is the year before the really, really big year. Next year, seventy-five. Yeah. So that's yeah. a you know a great tribute to many, many people that have been involved with this race for all the years, and yeah. uh, not just running it, but but now volunteers and, and making it continue to happen. I, uh, I I always when I have you on to talk about this event, I, I always have to ask. Uh, please uh, tell us who E.J. Herman uh, is and why it's named after well, E.J. Herman. To, to me, uh, uh, Ed, Edward Herman, he was a physical ed teacher and track and cross-country coach in the Utica School District, mainly at Proctor. Um, I know he retired in 1968, um, but uh, he was probably there 30 years prior to that. Yeah. And he's the one who actually introduced me into running uh, cross-country. It was my freshman year, and I went out for the three big sports. I made the teams, didn't play much, but he saw me in a gym class, and he said, kid, I really think you should look at running cross country. We have a new coach coming next year, Sam Panisha, and you should give it a try. It's the best decision I've ever made in my life yeah. because uh, I am who I am today because of people like Sam Panisha and, and, and Ed Herman. They, they taught me more than just to run. It's a... Uh, it's it's the values. Well, and I and I and I like to ask you about that. And you tell us every year, but it's important to remember when we name something after someone. Yes. Um, it's so easy to forget as years go on. It just becomes the name of the event, and you forget about the person. And I don't think that. Well, when happen, I ran so. it in uh, sixty nine, seventy, and seventy one, it was the Proctor Invitational, mm-hmm. and it was known throughout the state as the Proctor Invitational. It wasn't until well after I graduated that it was renamed the E. J. Herman. Invitational in Mr. Herman's honor for everything he's done for yeah. not just for Proctor but for the entire Utica yeah. City School District. All right, uh, tell us how it's going to go uh, tomorrow. As always, well, every year, a bunch it, of schools. A, and yeah, we've we've got um, uh, 43 schools this year. We're down a bit because uh, we're in competition with another uh, a big race that happens to be where the sectionals, I believe, are going to be this year, okay. or possibly even the states. And so a lot of teams wanted to go there and check that out. But, mm-hmm. but we're, our numbers are still going to be big and the people all the local schools are going to be there and, and you know we have you know we have a, a pretty good following a, a loyal people they know when they get to proctor park it's going to be beautiful thanks yeah, to the yeah. city of utica and the dpw do their job uh our many sponsors that help us uh, pull it all off and, and we have we have uh, elite runners from this area this year and i know we don't have a lot of time to get into a lot of that but uh it's uh, it's kicks off tomorrow morning uh the, the presentation of colors is 9 a.m and the first race is 9:15, which happens to be named in my honor, which which I was so so humble and, and, and proud to have that uh, uh, distinction made a few years back. And it continues right through uh, two o'clock, and nice. and we're out of it by three, and you'll never know we were there because uh, our volunteers just make it just just such a great day. Well, it's a great event. And it is a great uh, event. Kids and really look forward to it. It's good for them, yes. and it's a beautiful run. Yes, and I appreciate yeah. the opportunity to come on and speak right. about it, and uh, and your continued support. All right, Mel, thanks so much. Thank we you. Appreciate right. it. Um, Andrew, can you uh, get this? I don't know where I'm going to ask. He is, but uh, we're going to take a quick break. We'll come right back.